Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Sam and I would love to have you guys subscribe so you won't miss out on any new videos. So today I'm going to be filming my hygiene empties of the month. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me like where's the video, like where's your hygiene empties this month and honestly you guys, it just took me a little longer to use up my products because I wasn't home for a week so I didn't have all my stuff. But I also just want to say like I don't think I want to do these like specifically every month I'm just gonna try to accumulate my empties and when I feel like I have enough then I will make the video so maybe that's every month sometimes or maybe every two months you know because some products have more product in them and it just takes me longer to get through so that is my little disclaimer but why don't we just go ahead and get started with the empties so the first product that I have, I don't know if this is really hygiene, it kind of does go into hygiene, but this is my probiotic gummy vitamins. Um, I finished this up this month and I really need to go out and get more. I just haven't had time because I've been busy with school and work. But I use these up and these are by Nature Made. I recommend you buying them at Grocery Outlet because they're a lot cheaper and they it's not like they're expired or anything, you know. I saw them at Target for like 14 bucks and I got this for $6 at Grocery Outlet. So I was like, why am I paying double the amount when I can buy them for a lot cheaper? So I got this and this is really great for like your like yeast infections and um, UTIs and stuff like that. So I recommend that and I really, really like it. The next product that I have to share with you guys that I used up is the Nivea Body Souffle. This is Cherry Blossom and Jojoba Oil. I hauled this a few months ago and I did finish it all. I don't know if you guys can see that. And there's not that much product in here. It's 6.8 ounces so it didn't take too long. I did really like this and I wish they had more scents because I would definitely pick it up in the other scents. I just... I'm not going to pick it up again because I'm tired of the scent. I love the packaging though. Like I love that it's kind of smaller and compact because you can carry it with you when you go to, you know, a friend's house overnight or something like that. And it doesn't take up too much room. It's very moisturizing, but it's also not super thick and greasy. So I really, really like that about it. I... I'm super happy. So yeah, I recommend this to you guys. It's a little bit pricey for the amount you get, but I do think it's worth it and I did really like it. And if they come out with more scents, I will for sure pick it up. The next product I have to share with you guys is a body fragrance or body mist. This is Bath & Body Works Winter Berry Wonder and this was part of, of course, their winter line. And I'm going to be honest, you guys, I didn't really use this on my body. I used this more as a room spray and a bathroom spray because I genuinely despise this scent on my body. I feel like it just smells super sour and weird on me. So I was like, you know what, I'm not going to just have it sitting there and collect dust and expire. I'm going to put another purpose to it and I'm going to, you know, find another use for it. And it was really good as a room spray and like a bathroom spray because the smell was very very strong it just smells super super sour though like it's very berry-ish and it it has cranberries in it so yeah I just didn't love the scent on me but as a room spray it was really good and I recommend you guys doing that if you guys have fragrances that you don't like on your body just use them as a room spray bathroom spray or house spray and it's great so I finished this one the next few things I have are a few soap bars. So I finished one of my Dove Purely Pampering Coconut Milk Beauty Cream Bars. You guys saw this in my favorites videos. And I absolutely love this body bar. It is so moisturizing. And something about this one just lathers so much more than the other ones that I have. And the smell is just so good. Like it smells so, so amazing. It's such a feminine, girly scent. And I... I am going to have to pick up more. I will pick up more for sure. I think I have an extra backup in my little cart. But when I finish that one, I have to go get this. You can typically find these at like um, Dollar General. I got this one at Grocery Outlet. And I'm not sure if they sell them at Target. You guys should let me know in the comments if they do or not. Because I haven't seen them at my Target. But I love this. And the next body bar that I finished up is the Dove um, Antibacterial Soap. This stuff is amazing. I swear by this. I think it's the best antibacterial soap that I've tried so far because it does not make your skin feel super stripped or like you just washed off all your natural oils. I personally don't like that feeling. I know some people do, but I love this. You can find this at Dollar General, Family Dollar, 
and possibly Walmart. I've heard some people say they found it at their Walmart, but I haven't been able to. But this stuff is so good. Like, you guys need this if you want a good antibacterial soap. I like to use this for the downstairs area and also all over my body when I just want a deeper clean. So, yeah. And finally, the last soap bar that I finished up is an Irish Spring Original. I got this at, um... Dollar Tree like back in my hygiene haul from Dollar Tree and this stuff is super great for um, your backside and your feet. I like to clean like my feet with this because it just makes you feel super super squeaky clean and tight feeling but for my feet I always want to clean them good and also for the backside um, I show this in my feminine hygiene video so yeah I love this stuff. I'm going to continue to repurchase it because I do think it gives you a nice clean. So recommend this one for you guys. Another thing that I finished using was this moisturizing foot mask. So it came with a pack of three. I got this at Marshalls for $4.99 and they just come with like kind of like socks type of things and you just keep them on your feet for about like 20 minutes and it makes your feel, feet feel very soft. I did like this but I also feel like you could probably do this at home with just like Vaseline and put socks on top or like a thick lotion and some fuzzy socks. I think it would do the same thing but I wanted to get this because I wanted to just have like a nice self-care pamper night so I bought these and I mean I think they were worth the five dollars. Am I going to repurchase this? Probably not because I think the method I just told you guys would do perfectly fine so yeah. They were good, but nothing like miraculous. I do want to try like that foot peel where it like peels the skin off your foot. I know that's gross, but I think it's so satisfying. So I'm definitely going to try to pick that up next. But for the most part, this stuff was good. If you want it, I'd say give it a go if you want to have a nice night. But if not, it's nothing you're missing out on. Another kind of boring thing that I finished up was this pineapple mango hand soap. This stuff was okay. I like the Bath and Body Works hand soaps a lot better than these ones. This one was from Target. It just, I don't know, I felt like I wasn't getting a super good clean compared to like my Bath and Body Works hand soap. So I don't think I'll repurchase this. It was pretty inexpensive, like two bucks. But yeah. Another product that I finished using up was this Equate Antiseptic Mouth Rinse. I love this. I think it's great. It's super cheap. It's like a knockoff of Listerine. So I have another one of these in my bathroom right now and a TheraBreath as well. So I like to use this one at night and the TheraBreath in the morning because the TheraBreath just keeps my breath feeling fresher all day long. So I really highly recommend you guys getting this if you want a nice mouthwash. It it literally is the same thing as Listerine, but like a few bucks cheaper. So I like to save my money where I can. And I don't know. This stuff worked. So I love Equate. Yeah. Another product that I finished up, which I'm really proud of myself for using up. This is the A Thousand Wishes Body Cream. I did cut it up, which is why like it looks a lot shorter. But I finished this up. Like I've been telling you guys, I've been wanting to use up more of my body creams because I'm scared of them expiring and wasting my money. So I've been making an effort to use my body creams more often than my other body lotions. And I really like this. I love the scent of it. I'm sad that it's gone. But the next time I repurchase this, it will be in the lotion so I don't feel as rushed. But... Yeah, I did really, really like this, and the smell of it is amazing. Key notes are pink Prosecco, sparkling Kins, Quince, Crystal Peonies, Gilded Amber, and Amaretto Cray Cream. I can't talk, but this stuff is great. Yeah. Another boring thing that I used up is the Soft Toothbrush Smile Worthy by Smartly. You can get these at Target for like 99 cents. It comes with a pack of two. Like I've mentioned in a lot of my videos, for my oral hygiene, I really like to just switch out my toothbrushes as often as possible because they can collect bacterial, bacterial, bacteria, and they're just, you know, if you switch them out more often, you're just more likely to have fresher breath in my opinion because a dirty toothbrush will cause bad breath. That's just me. So yeah, I did use up one of these and I like these because they're really cheap. It's like two dollars. You just or what? Two dollars? No. One dollar and you can just throw them away and they're great for travel as well. Another product that I finished up this month was my Aveeno Positively Nourishing Calming Lavender Plus Chamomile Body Lotion. You guys can see I squeezed the living heck out of this. I love this product. I love Aveeno and their brand. This lotion was extremely, extremely 
moisturizing and I seriously just loved it so much. It smelled like a very light lavender scent. I highly recommend this if you guys want a nice lavender scented, you know, body care routine. And I especially love this because this is like for sensitive skin so you know it's not going to break you out. I did love using this and I probably will repurchase it in the future once I get through some more of my body care. But yeah. Another fragrance type of thing that I finished using up was my Bath & Body Works Stress Relief. This is by like the aromatherapy section and I like to use this on my pillows because it just helps me fall asleep. You know, feeling stress free and I also like to spray this in my room. You guys should see me when like I had this during my finals. I was literally spraying the heck out of my room before I took my finals. So I was like, maybe this will bring me some good luck and it'll make me feel, you know, at zen while I take this exam. I'm already stressed out enough. So, yeah, I love this. I want to try out their other scents, um, not just the stress-free one. I think it's like the sleep one. I really want to try that one out next. So, yeah, this is done. And you guys can see it's like literally gone. I also have two more body bars. I'm telling you guys, I go through so far super, super quick. But the first one is the Dove Sensitive Skin. This is also great for your downstairs area and just all over your body when you want a no scent, you know, shower. I sometimes don't want to have a super fragrant bath or shower. So I like to use the Sensitive Skin one. You know it's not going to irritate you because it is for sensitive skin. So I love this. You can get this at Dollar Tree or any drugstore but Dollar Tree is the cheapest, so yeah, this one is great. And the last product that I have to share with you guys this month is my Dove Purely Pampering Beauty Bar, and I believe this is the vanilla scent. It's in a different language because I bought it at Grocery Outlet, Outlet, and I really, really did like it. I thought that it was super moisturizing, and I just think it's cool because there's a different language on here, so I feel like I have something a little more exclusive than what we have here in the States. I mean, I'm sure they sell this in the States, but I don't know. It just made it a little more fun, and I love this. It was super Super, super moisturizing and I just love Dove like I wish Dove would sponsor me because I just love all their products so freaking much but yeah alrighty you guys so that is the end of today's video I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my hygiene empties of the month I know it did take me a little longer to film this and get this up for you guys but at the same time I don't want to have like only boring products to show you guys like mouthwash and soap bars like I actually want to have some fragrance mist and some body lotions um, so I can review them for you guys and show you guys and sometimes it genuinely just takes me a little bit longer because I like switching up my scents here and there. I know some of you guys have asked me to do like a project, use it up, and I am thinking about it. The only thing is I don't have a food scale to like weigh it and some products you can't really see inside how much you've used and I just feel like it's a little a little too much pressure. I might just start doing them within my vlog so if you guys want to see that definitely check out my vlogs. I'll probably put it in my next vlog of products that I want to use up but yeah. Thank you guys so so much for watching today's video. If you guys enjoyed it please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!